an in-depth look at what some core and 46th Division would have at their disposal to break the German defences, which the British forces had failed to do in nearly two years of fighting. Corps is made up of the following infantry divisions 37th Division, 46th Division, and 56th Division. The heavy artillery attached to the Corps is of the Royal Garrison Artillery, which is made up of 19th Heavy Artillery Group, which has 46th HAG subgroup, which is made up of 73rd Siege Battery Royal Garrison Artillery, 74th South African Siege Battery, and then 1st Siege Battery, and the 2nd Siege Battery, 90th Siege Battery, 91st Siege Battery, 96th Siege Battery, 45th Siege Battery, and 103rd Siege Battery. 35th Heavy Artillery Group, which has 47th HAG, number 3 subgroup, which is made up of 68th Siege Battery, 88th Siege Battery, 98th Canadian Siege Battery, which also has number 2 subgroup which is made up of 93rd Siege Battery, 94th Siege Battery, and 95th Siege Battery. Finally, number 1 subgroup, Chaz, number 4, Alza, and number 6, Alza, both of the Royal Marine Artillery. 39th Heavy Artillery Group, which is made up of 31st Heavy Battery, 135th Heavy Battery, and 50th Siege Battery. 48th Heavy Artillery Group, which is made up of 16th Heavy Battery, 33rd Heavy Battery, 1st to 1st Kent Heavy Battery, and 1st to 1st Lowland Heavy Battery, 73rd Siege Battery, 74th South African Siege Battery, and then 1st Siege Battery, 88th Siege Battery, and 98th Canadian Siege Battery are each equipped with 4 6 inch howitzers, 26 CWT, and then 2nd Siege Battery, 68th Siege Battery are each equipped with 4 60 inch howitzers, 30 CWT, 90th Siege Battery, 91st Siege Battery, 96th Siege Battery, 93rd Siege Battery, 94th Siege Battery, and 95th Siege Battery are each equipped with 4 9.2 inch howitzers. 45th Siege Battery is equipped with 1 9.2 inch railway gun, and then 3rd Siege Battery is equipped with 2 12 inch howitzers. Number 4. Howitzer and number 6. Howitzer of the Royal Marine Artillery are each equipped with one 15 inch howitzer. And the 31st Heavy Battery and the 35th Heavy Battery and the 16th Heavy Battery are each equipped with four 60 pounders. 50th Siege Battery is equipped with two 16 inch Mark 7 howitzers. And the 31st Heavy Battery, 1st to 1st Kent Heavy Battery and 1st to 1st Lowland Heavy Battery are each equipped with four 4.7 inch howitzers. Also attached to the Heavy Artillery is the 37th Division Division of Artillery Unit and the 23rd Brigade of the Royal Field Artillery. The D Howitzer Battery which is equipped with four 4.5 inch howitzers. Forty sixth Division also of Battle is and in 37th Staffordshire Brigade, which has the following battalions 1st to the 5th Battalion, South Staffordshire Regiment, 1st to the 6th Battalion, the South Staffordshire Regiment, 1st to the 5th Battalion, the North Staffordshire Regiment, and 1st to the 6th Battalion, the North Staffordshire Regiment. The following weapon units are also attached to the Brigade, and in 37th Brigade Machine Gun Company, and 137th Brigade Trench Mortar Battery, and in 38th. Lincoln and Leicester Brigade, which has the following battalions. 1st to 4th Battalion, the Lincolnshire Regiment. 1st to 5th Battalion, the Lincolnshire Regiment. 1st to 4th Battalion, the Leicestershire Regiment. And 1st to 5th Battalion, the Leicestershire Regiment. The following weapon units are also attached to the brigade. The 38th Brigade Machine Gun Company and the 138th Brigade Trench Mortar Battery. And the 39th Sherman Forresters Brigade, which has the following battalions. 
and 1st to 5th, the Sherwood Foresters, Knotts and Derby Regiment, 1st to 6th, Battalion, Sherwood Foresters, Knotts and Derby Regiment, 1st to 7th, Battalion, Sherwood Foresters, Knotts and Derby Regiment, and 1st to 8th, Battalion, Sherwood Foresters, Knotts and Derby Regiment. The following weapons units are also attached to the brigade, in the 39th Brigade, Machine Gun Company, and in the 39th Brigade, Trench Mortar Battery. Each brigade machine gun company is equipped with four sections, each equipped with four Vickers machine guns. This is a short film of the Vickers machine gun in action on the Somme. Showing how quickly it can be set up and that it didn't need to be set up on flat ground to be used. The Vickers machine gun is capable of firing 450 to 500 rounds per minute with an effective firing range of 2,187 yards and a maximum range of 4,500 yards with indirect fire. Each brigade trench mortar battery is equipped with four sections, each equipped with four 3 inch stoke mortars. A short film showing the 3 inch stokes mortar in action. First is shown the arming of the mortar bombs. Next, a good example can be seen of the quick rate of fire of the mortar and how easily it is to operate and the good range it has. The 3 inch Stokes mortar has a maximum rate of fire of 25 rounds per minute, an effective range of 750 yards, and a maximum firing range of 800 yards. This picture shows how mobile the mortar is. It is able to be carried forward with attacking troops. One of the divisional troop units is the Divisional Pioneer Battalion, 1st to 1st Battalion, Monmouthshire Regiment. The divisional artillery is made up of the following units. The 130 Brigade, 1st of Midlands, Royal Field Artillery, Brigade Battery, 1st Lincolnshire, Bead Battery, 2nd Lincolnshire, C Battery, 3rd Lincolnshire, D. Warpster Battery, 1st Derbyshire, 231 Brigade, 2nd North Midlands, with A Battery, 1st Staffordshire, B Battery, 2nd Staffordshire, C Battery, 1st Staffordshire, and D Warpster Battery, or Battery, 4th North Midlands Brigade, 232nd Brigade, 3rd North Midlands, with A Battery, 4th Staffordshire, B Battery, 5th Staffordshire, C Battery, 6th Staffordshire, and D. Howitzer Battery, 2nd Derbyshire, 233rd Brigade, 4th North Midlands, with A Battery, D. Lincolnshire, 1st North Midlands Brigade, B Battery, D. Shropshire, 2nd North Midlands Brigade, and C Battery, D. Shropshire, 3rd North Midlands Brigade. The Divisional Trench Mortar Batteries are V46 Heavy Trench Mortar Battery, Northfield Artillery, X. 46 medium mortar battery, Y46 medium mortar battery, and Z46 medium mortar battery. A battery, B battery, C battery of the 230th Brigade, A battery, B battery, C battery of the 231st Brigade, A battery, B battery, C battery of the 232nd Brigade and A Battery, B Battery, C Battery of the 233rd Brigade are each equipped with four 18 pounders. D Battery of 230th Brigade, D Battery of 231st Brigade, and D Battery of 232nd Brigade are each equipped with four 4.5 inch howitzers. V46 Heavy Trench Mortar Battery is equipped with two 9.5 inch mortars X46, Y46 and Z46 Medium Mortar Batteries are each equipped with eight 2 inch mortars Their units are 46 Divisional Ammunition Column Northfield Artillery Royal Engineers units are 465th 1st North Midland Field Company 
466, second North Midland Field Company. 468, second and the first North Midland Field Company. Number two company, 5th Battalion Special Brigade. 46, Divisional Signals Company. Royal Army Medical Corps Unit SAR. First North Midland Field Ambulance. Second North Midland Field Ambulance. And third North Midland Field Ambulance. 17th Sanitational Section. Further, Divisional Troops are 46, Divisional Train, Army Service Corps, 451st, 452nd, 453rd and 454th Companies, Army Service Corps, 1st, North Midlands Mobile Veterinary Section, Army Veterinary Corps. 46th Division is attacking from Fingerville, with 137 Brigade. On the right, the Brigade has... 1st of the 6th South Staffordshire Regiment advancing in 4 waves with D Company on the left next B Company, A Company and C Company next is 1st of the 6th North Staffordshire Regiment which is advancing in 4 waves with B Company on the left and A Company on the right to its left advancing in 4 waves is D Company on the left and C Company on the right. 139th Brigade is attacking from the left with the 1st of the 5th Sherwood Foresters advancing on the right in four waves with C Company, then A Company and D Company. Next is 1st of the 7th Sherwood Foresters advancing on the left in four waves with C Company, then B Company, A Company. Following 1st of the 6th South Staffordshire Regiment in four waves is the 1st of the 5th South Staffordshire Regiment. Following 1st of the 6th North Staffordshire Regiment in 4 waves is the 1st of the 5th North Staffordshire Regiment. Following the 1st of the 5th Sherwood Foresters will be its B Company. Following the 1st of the 7th Sherwood Foresters will be its D Company. Following behind them will be the 1st of the 6th Sherwood Foresters, then A, B and C Companies of the 1st of the 8th Sherwood Foresters will be following on next. D Company of the 1st of the 8th Sherwood Foresters would hold the front line to the left of the attacking units. The units of the 138th Brigade involved in the attack would be the 1st of the 5th Leicestershire Regiment following on behind the units of the 37th Brigade. The 1st of the 4th Lincolnshire Regiment would be on the right of the 137th Brigade manning the front line trenches. 1st of the 5th Lincolnshire Regiment would be in the Corps' lines two miles west of Fingervilles. The 1st of the 4th Leicestershire Regiment will be at St. Armando, three and a half miles west northwest of Fingervilles. This is the second of six films on the attack of 46th Division on Guma Corps. The next film covers the German units involved in the defence of Guma Corps. Richard Films will be on film 4. Attack plan, film 5, the attack, film 6, aftermath. If you would like to support the channel financially so that I can keep producing these films, you can do so by Patreon or PayPal, details in the description box. If you want to be informed when the next film will be coming out, please click on the subscribe button.